The United Arab Emirates celebrates today the accomplishments achieved as a result of the unification of its armed forces through operations to train and qualify its sons and daughters to be protectors and defenders of its land, waters, and sky. supervision of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, the UAE President and Commander of the Armed Forces, and his brother, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister, ruler of Dubai. With the continuous support and supervision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, in addition to the efforts of its people, the Armed Forces are today more vigilant and more advanced than ever before. History is witness to the remarkable role played by His Highness the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, in establishing the United Arab Emirates and building up its armed forces, as well as the way his guidance and vision clearly influenced the unification, development, and accomplishment. The unification of the country in 1971, and in view of sustained support for the Union, in an effort to bring about the integration of the country's institutions. The Higher Council of Defense convened a historic meeting on the 6th of May, 1976, led by His Highness, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, and His Highness, the late Sheikh Rashid bin Saeed al Maktoum, and witnessed by His Highness, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, and His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum. This meeting resulted in a historic and wise decision which was born out of far-sighted and enlightened thinking. A decision concluded by uniting the armed forces under one flag leadership and called the GHQ of Armed Forces, an entity to become a central link by which the Arab Emirates are unified. Land forces have been offered wise leadership and support throughout the past decades at every stage it was provided with sufficient potentialities and more advanced weaponry. In addition to modern military techniques which strengthened its defense responses and developed its ability under all circumstances and different environments, all this followed from the reinforcement and modernization of the military forces and their material. Special attention has been given to Navy forces, keeping in mind the importance of controlling the UAE's waters. Navy forces have been built up and provided with suitable marine weaponry, the most sophisticated vessels and the latest in marine technology to help protect the UAE's shores and assets.
Air Forces and Air Defense have witnessed an unprecedented development in the past decade, whereby it has introduced the latest aircraft and air defense programs. Strategic program is based on obtaining the most modern and advanced techniques in Air Force's weaponry and multi-role jet fighters, turning the Air Forces into a strategic power able to confront any dangers threatening the country and providing the necessary security and protection to the nation's skies. The addition of the advanced F-16 Block 60 to the Air Forces is considered a significant step in supporting the defense abilities of the United Arab Emirates, a step that creates a modern qualified defense force as its backbone that is suited to technical and practical requirements. Inevitably, the formation of a modern power with small size and high fighting capabilities using modern techniques puts the UAE's Air Force and their advanced strategic weaponry on a par with other military powers. Al-Fursan Air Forces and Air Defense Aerobatics Team participate in various events and international air shows, performing thrilling stunts that demonstrate exceptional skill and extreme focus. يوم جميل يوم يفرح ان نشوف عيال الامارات عيال زايد عسكر حماية الوطن في هذا الاصطفاف اللي يفرح ويعطي الثقة هذي لهم اللي ورايا اليوم هذي لهم صمام الأمان هذي لهم نفسهم مستقبل بلادنا هذي لهم عيالكم عيال كل بيت نحن استثمارنا الحقيقي في هذي له لأنهم هم اللي يشكلون حماية الوطن وهم اللي أيضا يشكلون أمن ومستقبل دولة الإمارات In scope of our military beliefs, which are based on defending the voice of truth, as well as full respect of the law and principles, comes the participation of our armed forces in international peacekeeping operations, which our role has set an example, both regionally and internationally, in discipline and dedication towards all aid and medical assistance operations. Our armed forces have also set a standard in humanitarian efforts as a result of duties and missions that were carried out throughout the years, regionally and internationally, which focused primarily on spreading peace and maintaining it as well as protecting human dignity.
armed forces of the United Arab Emirates have accomplished a lot within its history, whether in developing its people or weapons, the Emirati will always stay, as he always has been, a man of honor, keeping his promises and the truth of faith he beholds in his heart. He will show loyalty to his leadership and be responsible towards the duties that he performs with skill and efficiency, without any kind of self-interest, keeping in mind that his country is a treasure to be saved and protected by him. So all we can say is a great thank you to the leader of this mission, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the President of the United Arab Emirates and Commander of the Armed Forces, on this great occasion of the anniversary of the unification of the Armed Forces.